Hey everyone, welcome back to Animal and Aquatics. You are live with Unique. And today I'm gonna get into my Austin Aqua Farms buying experience online. We're gonna go through the unboxing video of the coral and give you my overall review of the total experience. Let you know if I recommend you guys shopping with Austin Aqua Farms and what to expect, at least from my experience. All right, so let's let the video spin and let's check out the unboxing. As you can see, everything did arrive tightly packaged. I really like the packaging. All right, so when everything got here, guys, I was very excited when it arrived. The condition it arrived in is kind of a mixed bag of mostly good. So let's get into that. The first thing I wanna mention is the what you see is what you get. And that is really pretty close here. The pictures they displayed for the Ricotia mushrooms that I ordered were pretty accurate. The corals also arrived healthy and alive. That is the most important part. Did your corals arrive healthy and are they alive? Now the second part gets into that mixed bag, the hitchhikers. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. The scary part. So luckily my coral did come with hitchhikers but they did not come with the bad type. They came with a few starfish and two snails. I think I counted maybe four or five starfish altogether. Now these are algae eating starfish and also bottom feeding. So they'll eat off the ground, any leftover flakes or frozen food that you are feeding to your fish. They'll go down there and eat some of that. So those type of hitchhikers aren't the worst. The second part of the mixed bag is two of my frags were not glued or properly attached to their plug, meaning they could have been damaged in shipping. Now, once again, I can't say that they weren't glued properly. When they left Austin Aqua Farms, it could have been damaged in shipping, guys, but they were not on the plug. And the reason I mention that is just because you do want your cores to arrive safely. Luckily, I had the Ricotia mushrooms and they are fine without the plug. I did put the plugs in my tank, <laughs> just in case I wanna use those for future, or if there's any growth underneath there that might've survived, it might come back as well. So that's the reason I put those two plugs in there, and it's not the end of the world. Now the star of the show though, is this big and magnificent, just straight spectacular Ricordia mushroom. You'll see the camera focus on that, a few times right there in the middle. It has several heads on it. It's just a really spectacular mushroom. I really like that one. And I also got a surprise, surprise. So I'm not gonna really talk about my shipping issue too much because there's a hurricane going on and that is delaying a lot of overnight shippings. So guys, if you are ordering right now, especially during this week, be a little bit more patient with your whoever you're getting your corals from. Um, it's a little bit hard right now with the hurricane, so that is slowing things down. But with that being said, I was still surprised with the magnificent low light Astropora. I did not pay for the Astropora. It was thrown in there. I was pleasantly surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. It has found an amazing home inside of our reef tank. And I cannot say thank you enough to Austin Aqua Farms. So my overall experience, guys, I'm going to give this a five out of five. I feel like this was a really good shopping experience online. I was able to see accurate representation of what I would receive. I received my corals healthy and alive. The couple hitchhikers that came along were actually the type of hitchhikers you might wanna buy. You might wanna add a snail to your tank. And it's not that hard to fish a snail out and take it back to your local aquatic store. So that wasn't the worst thing. And just that surprise, surprise, the Astiopora really stole the show. It shines well in the lighting, in the aquarium. It looks nice. And that's why I'm giving this experience a five out of five. It went above and beyond to make this a great shopping experience for me. And I definitely highly recommend these guys. This is not a paid or sponsored video. This is just my honest experience. As you guys see, I talked about the hitchhikers, the frags not being glued, 
Maybe it was damaged in shipping, we don't know. But overall, even with those two not so good items right there, I still feel like this was a really good buying experience. And I can highly recommend Austin Aqua Farms to help build up your reef and purchase your corals. But that's all I got. Let me know in the comments if you've had any similar experiences with Austin Aqua Farms and what you got in your reef tank. Let's talk. But your boy is out. Peace.